Hello, everybody, and welcome to our latest Dynamics 365 podcast. Today, my colleague Joel is going to give you a quick tour around Dynamics 365 Customer Service, which is an app for customer service automation, which streamlines case and knowledge management in your organization. Specifically, Dynamics 365 Customer Service empowers your team to set up cases and tickets, um, record all interactions relating to those cases, share information and learnings in the knowledge base amongst your colleagues. You can define service terms and SLAs for your customers. You can create and schedule services for yourself and for your colleagues and provides a series of dashboards and reports so you can manage and monitor performance and productivity. And that's it. That's a summary of customer service. And now I'll hand over to Joel, who will give you a quick look at the product. Thank you, Willy. Today, I'm going to demonstrate some of the capabilities that you can have with Dynamics 365 Customer Service Professional. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Customer Service Workbase app, which allows you to use multiple sessions in the same application. So let's get started. We are starting here on the home screen where you can find important information as an agent, such as cases, queues, and activities. As soon as you create a new record, a form will be opened to start filling the required information for your case. One of the important functionalities is that you will be able to find related information in the same page without having to move to another part. That will give you the possibility to action quickly and more efficiently as you may have all the information that you need to follow up your case. As you can see, as soon as I save the record, the related information appears automatically. So let me go through some of the important sections that we can find in this form. In our first section, we are going to find a quick information about our customer, SLAs, and case summary. In the middle of the screen, you will be find the timeline, which is a place where you can find all of the communication that you have been having with your customer related to their case. In this case, we automatically send an email with relevant information to follow up. In the last section, you will be find important information about recent cases that you have with your customer. That will give you the possibility to view instantly the information from another cases and use some of the information that you have in there in case that you need it. The last part is the ability to work with the knowledge base the whole time. As you can see in our right hand side, it is always ready to use. You can perform some of the following functionalities. View an article, send an article, and copy and send article URLs to our customers. If you already have the solution for your case, so you can simply go to the Ribbon Resolve case and it will be appear a new screen where you can add the resolution that you have given to the customer. When you resolve a case, the record will become read-only. You won't be able to modify the record unless you reopen the case. And now I'm going to show you how to visualize the insights that you have in your customer service app. By default, you have some predefined dashboard that will help you to quickly view how the agents are working on their cases and the volume of cases that you are having in a period of time. As we are using Microsoft Platform, you are able to embed Power BI dashboards. That will give you the possibility to easily find the information that you are looking for in a specific period of time. As you can see here, so you can filter the information from a specific time. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching us and hope you see you in the next video. Thanks very much, Joel. Hopefully that will give people a uh, quick idea for the functionality of Dynamics 365 customer service. If you'd like any more information, you can contact us if you go on to www.simplyd.ie and you can find the contact form there. Thank you.